everything I've heard is that there may well be a crossover in on the East Coast. You know, a lot. Of, um, another big thing happening on Netflix next month is uh, Harry and Meghan's documentary. I mean, I, I, we don't really know too much about it. Have you heard any insight about what we're going to see? Is this going to be, you know, I mean, Megan's give, given a couple interviews and, you know, says that this is going to be telling their love story and a little glimpse inside what life looks like for them. But do you have any insight on what this documentary might entail? I haven't heard very much mm -hmm. about the documentary or the book at the moment. I think it's all a very closely guarded secret. You know, as you say, we have a documentary in, in December. We've got the book in January. Um, and, um, you know, Netflix have paid a lot of money for this documentary. They're going to want their pound of flesh. Mm -hmm. um, the publishers have paid a lot of money for the book. They're also going to want their pound of flesh. So um, Harry and Meghan are going to have to say more than we have a lovely life in Montecito and we love each other. You know, there needs to be some meat in this sandwich. And um, what I have heard is that Harry has been talking to um, friends from his um, childhood, from his school days, right back through his life to pull together, um, uh, how do I say this politely, some of the darker moments in his life, um, even before his mother died, um, to, to really dredge up some of the old childhood memories. Now, whether that's for the book or the documentary, I don't know. But I know a lot of people have been saying to him, why are you going back over this old ground? Why are you digging all of this up again? So I think those closest to him in the UK, or those who were very close to him in the UK in the past, are slightly concerned about how far he's going. Now, whether he puts all of that in the book or the doc, I don't know but he's certainly been doing a lot of early childhood research. Interesting. Do you think that he'll, you know, is he being warned not to do this and not to tell these stories? Or, you know, are he and Megan getting any advice on, you know, what this might, you know, what this might mean for their future? I know um, that the, the sort of the friends in the UK have been saying to him, why are you doing this? Why are you going there? Now, to be fair, they also don't know what's in the doc or the book. Mm -hmm. So let's see. But certainly I think sort of what the questions he's been asking have been raising a number of eyebrows. Um, and then those that are sort of closer to the King and the Queen and the Prince and Princess of Wales, who are part of the palace infrastructure, are absolutely bracing themselves for what's about to come because nobody knows. And um, history has shown us that when the Sussexes speak, um, they can throw out some pretty big accusations. Um, so, you know, whether it's the Oprah interview, whether it's um, Harry's more sort of recent interviews, um, or whether it's Meghan's podcasts, um, they know how to light a touch paper. Yeah. Um, well, also next month, William and Kate will be in New York City for the Earthshot Awards, which is going to be very exciting. I mean, what uh, what can we expect from that? And then there's also been rumblings that maybe Harry and Meghan will be in New York as well. You know, there was these rumors flying around that she might be on The Tonight Show that said that that later uh, confirmed that it wasn't happening. But any chance you think we'll see a run in? Um, everything I've heard is that there may well be a crossover in on the east coast um and um you know william and kate the prince and princess of wales are doing uh, an incredible job at the moment They're, for today they've been part of the welcoming party for the south african state visit there'll be at a big banquet at buckingham palace tonight um i think what's clever with the wales is is they're pointing to the heritage and the history if you notice today diana is wearing the brooch of the Princess of Wales that was given to her by Diana, that was given to Diana by the Queen Mother. So it's telling that whole story of longevity, of dynasty. Um, and I think that's very much the message that's coming out of the royal family is, you know, uh, we are the long game and we are the past and we are the future. Um, and I think you're right that the Earthshot Prize will be a huge moment in the States we only have to look back to the last time Kate and William were in America, you know, when they're on the West Coast, the the scrambling to be part of their entourage, to be at the events that they were at, was just enormous. And I know incredibly famous 
tech billionaires were you know, saying they would pay anything to have a ticket to be at you know, some of the parties that were going on. So I think you're going to see a huge crowd around them. Um, and I also think that the Waleses realize they have to put a market down again in America. Harry and Meghan have captured the American um, imagination. And this is an opportunity for the Waleses to, to say, no, 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 we're here. We're the, we're the real royals. We are going to be the next king and queen and focus on us. Um, so I think it'll be very big around them. And I think you will almost certainly see Harry and Meghan um, trying to uh, wave their flag when they come in. Um, and I believe they might be going to New York, might they? But I haven't heard that completely yet. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.